Okay, welcome to a game called Don't Open Your Eyes. I think, is that what it's called? Yeah, don't open your eyes. Uh, wait, let me check something. Uh, uh, text me, window. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Let's, let's get rid of the music. Yeah, I guess I hate music. I don't like music in games. Oh, I'm in a house. Can I move? No, I can't move. Oh, there's a save game. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Uh, return. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go sleep. Uh, why are you not closing your door? The door's open right there. It's open! I leave, I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police signs, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Okay, I guess I go to bed. Too quiet. Oh, I hate this. Ugh. The hell, bro? Why you gotta move around so fast? I feel so restless. My sights veer towards the hallway outside my door that you didn't fucking close! You're supposed to close your door when you sleep. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 times. 10 steps long. I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. Okay. One, two, three. Absent-mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to put this more things. You are weird. You are are you a veteran or some shit? But tonight's different. The hallway looks like a looks like it stretches into nothingness like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Okay. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway, but okay. I don't want to look at it, so I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Close your fucking eyes, then. Why the fuck you looking at it for, then? Mm, dumb retard. Oh, I see. I I see nothing in my room. Ah. Okay. There's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures and there's picture. What? There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. You know, I don't get that phrase because I don't... I, personally, I don't even know the back of my hand. Where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed marked as... No you are a veteran then! In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Oh yeah, you know the room is open right here. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Okay. Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? That wasn't- Ah! Someone's step stepping all over the place! What's that sound? Fucking open your eyes and look then! Yeah, it's footsteps! No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. What do you mean it's open your fucking eyes and check? But it's getting closer. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. And closer. Oh my fucking god. And closer. Stop this. And closer. Ah! There I gone. Right, there's no way someone could be here. Could be there. Ah! Fucking god damn it, you son of a bitch! Hey, what's up? Open your eyes. Ah, uh, you, uh, wait, give me, give me a sec, I take the audio, can do I open my? I do. I guess so. <laughs> I open my eyes. There's nothing there. Oh, that would have been a good idea to save, huh? That was stupid. Ah, we'll see you in a bit, I guess. No, I don't open my eyes. Open your eyes. Look at me. I'm already looking at you, and it's terrifying. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? 
Uh, I don't know. It depends on the stranger. If it's a person that has spiny spines and a faceless face, I, I wouldn't. I would just ignore it. Is that how it is? Yeah, I guess. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Yeah, me too, bro. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. Okay, sure. I, I have nice never thing. seen myself before. Why? Are you a fucking weirdo? I don't know if my face is ugly. You don't have a face, that's the thing! I don't know the color of my skin. You're black. I don't know if I'm even here. You're definitely here. That is why I need you to open your eyes so you can tell me how I look. Okay, I'm gonna say, you're beautiful, you shouldn't eat me, and I think you invaded the wrong house. You should've, you should've went to Larry over there, he's, he's a talkative guy. But, I'm also shy, so I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere, and soon, you will forget, like a faded dream. Okay. I know you're not asleep. How do you know that? You listen. With those tiny ears of yours. Hey, that is offensive. I have great Filipino ears, okay? I have, I have averagely sized ears. They look so fragile. Oh, uh, like yeah. I, I could almost them. grab them. Don't. I feel something. <laughs> I feel something caress my ear. Ah, God. Put my fingers around them. You don't have fingers. Ah, fuck. What the fuck? And tear them off. Don't do it. If I do. Will you scream? Uh, no, I will fucking kick you. That's what I would do. I would kick will you. Will I hear your voice? Yes. It was a joke. Oh, thank God then. I'm joking. Okay. Don't be scared. Uh, I'm, that's really hard to do right now. Hey. What? How do you think my eyes look? You don't have any. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? The afterlife. Answer me. I said the afterlife. They look broken. They look empty. They look lost. I must say empty. They There's look nothing there. Empty. Yes. <laughs> so. Oh my God! That's, yeah, that scared the shit out of me. That, that is the eyes are the window to the soul. That is true. That's what someone told me long ago. Yeah, who told you that? They said that the soul was holy. Every soul is holy. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know about that. Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. Uh, I don't know if you're good or evil, so I'm gonna just say you have a dark one. But that person said I was the exception. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. Look, I don't believe, don't believe that guy. That guy just probably, you know, listens to a lot of Paramore or some shit. So bright. So beautiful. They looked inside of me. Took a deep breath and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Okay. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. Why? It's just, are you malnourished? Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins, maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Because I'm empty. Oh, maybe because you don't have a fucking mirror! But isn't that something to be grateful for? Hmm... I don't know. Uh, I guess? Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me, nor the second. Nor the third, nor the several others who came after. So you've been to in, you've been to a lot of people's houses, not just mine. The only thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. Hey. Hey, what's up? Have you ever felt so empty, so devoid of what makes everyone special? Yeah, I, I. That you've embraced the void as your own. Have you? These eyes. Are these my eyes? Oh, give me a sec. Uh, I'm gonna save real quick. Boy. <laughs> I say. I say. Mm, no. Is that so? Then, how do you think my eyes look when our cases finally meet? What will you find? Answer me. 
Fuck, lost. Fair luck. Lost. Ah! It became a hentai face. That Jesus fucking so. Christ. I am never sure of where I am. Okay. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. Uh, I guess. The thought terrifies me. Yeah, it is a scary thought. It terrifies me so much. Same here, I guess. So I always keep my eyes peeled, even if there's nothing to see. Okay. That way, nothing will slip away, no matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be. It is a very no matter the place. countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. Okay, I don't think that's a good idea. You should blink. I mean, look at those eyes. They're beautiful. I will forever be confused by the world around me. I will forever be lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. Oh, your voice kind of crack on that one. What is it? Is it something I can hold? Is it a being of flesh and bones? Is it nearby? It's definitely nearby. Is it you? Yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Have you? These eyes? Are these... My eyes. Uh, I think it's like an option to choose. Wait, I didn't say. Fuck! I Is didn't that say so? That. How do you think my eyes look when our cases finally meet? What will you find? Uh, Answer me. Let's check out the other option. They look broken. They look broken. Oh! <laughs> I hate that. Maybe so. <laughs> I'm always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me, searching for that one precious thing. Yeah? It's what drives me to look inside places, such as this. My bedroom? Yeah, it kind of walked but in my But sometimes I strain so hard, little pieces seem to fall off my face. You sure? One after another, oh, God. making a cracking sound as they go. Oh, a sound so like... Ah! Stop! Don't, this, don't do that. In my desperation, I always attempt to piece them back together. I okay. kneel and search for the missing fragments of myself. Okay. But they are never there. Okay. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach. Okay. And that makes me sad. Yeah, that is a pretty sad thing. You should you shouldn't say that to strangers. So sad. I put my hands where my eyes should be. And I borrow my fingers, and I take it out. Why? I take everything out. Oh god, why? Ah, <laughs> stop it! Stop the- stop the noise. Every little piece that remains. <coughs> okay. Harder, furiously, and wallowing in sorrow. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine. To not make me lose more than I've already lost. I don't want to waste my time. And search for more than I care for. Well, I guess you shouldn't be poking your eyes and with your fingers and ripping your brains out. Yet no one delivers. I could. No one is listening. I'm listening. So I weep invisible tears. I can't see your tears because my eyes are closed. Until I can feel the sorrow no more. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Have you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see? That you end up blinding yourself to all? Have you? Uh, yeah. These eyes? Are these my eyes? No. Is that s how do you think my eyes when our case is fine? Okay, Answer okay. Me. I really like the, the the lost ones. They look lost. That may be so. Yeah. I am never sure of where I am. My days consist of one. Okay, I want this is the feeding. Are these? My eyes. Yes. A good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Okay. Open your eyes. <laughs> I'ma say real quick. I'ma say real quick. Open my eyes. Ah! 
Oh, he disappeared! Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, he, he disappeared. Where'd he go? Where? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna load that back up, please. Uh, no. So you won't that. look at me. No, I won't. Even though your eyes are so pretty. How do you know that? I never even opened my eyes. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Oh, okay, that answered my question. Round like pearls. Yeah. And shiny like jewels. Oh, thank you. So, so pretty. Okay, that's weird. <sighs> yeah, don't it's do that. fine. We still have time. I know we have time. The night is still. And silent. It is very silent. Yeah. Oh, God. I can feel that on the back of my fucking head. People are good at closing their doors. Yeah, I am. Do you good. know what a door is? Yeah, it's the one I left open behind you. Of course you know. You have one. Right there. At the verge of your little world. Yep. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Yeah, I kinda left that open, didn't I? The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. Oh, it's definitely a bad smell. And sometimes... Me. Yeah, I, it let you in, uh, that's what I I'm saying. I can't open doors. Oh, yeah. I find them... Tricky. Well, it would've been such a good idea to close the fucking door then! Should I push? Or pull? You should lift it up and keep trying until, you know, it, it, it opens. Should I turn the knob left? Or right? You pull on it. Should I try to take it off its hinges? Mm, okay, then. Should I chip away at it? Hoping it will fall apart. I that's your that's that gives me most time to escape and I'll probably hear it, so I'll do that. And what happens when it opens? I am jumping out my window. Do I close it behind me? Mm, no. Do I keep it open? Yes. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. I that's the thing I didn't fucking close it! But then how do I get out? Uh you don't. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. Ah, thank God my like door is closed in real life. To go in. My fan is very loud, give me a sec. So I search for a crevice or a window. Hey, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. I turned off my fan because it's loud. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can't go in anywhere. Don't go in my asshole, please. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. Why? You're like, you're like a vampire afraid of the light? In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. Yeah? I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. Without alerting anyone. You kind of fucked that last part up when you entered my home. Usually it's a cellar. An attic. Anywhere with dust. With dirt. I feel at home there. But sometimes. Just sometimes. An urge swells inside of me. The urge. To be seen. So I search hard. For a door that's open. For an entryway covered in darkness. For someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me. But you won't look at me, even though you had your door open for visitors. Yeah, I should have. Oh, I got damn it! Give me a sec. Yeah, you, you hear that? I closed my real door in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Why idiot. is that? Because I didn't fucking close the fucking door. Are you? Afraid? Yes, I am. Look at you. Do I scare you? Yes. No. That can't be it. Uh, we have been chatting 
for so long. I guess we have been. You haven't chased me out. Yeah, I haven't. That means you welcome me. Kinda, yeah. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Um... You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. Uh, they are. So very warm. Uh, okay. Because people are always warm. You are not a person then. Hey. Hey. How do my hands look? Uh, when my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Answer me. They look insightful. Uh, they look. They look incomplete. They look incomplete. Oh, what the fuck? That may be so. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. I have left people behind. Okay. People who are my chat companions. Oh, okay. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. That's fucking bizarre. Look at your fingers everywhere. Things such as skin. Yep. Or flesh. Yep. Or bones. Yep. Or anything that makes me me. Okay. Yes. Farewell gifts. You could say. I wouldn't want that gift. It sounds like an excuse. Yes, it is. And that's because it is. Oh, I was right. Because I am careless and overly curious. Yep. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. I really like how your voice is like an ASMR mic. Like the crust of a tree or the surface of a frozen lake. Yeah. But sometimes I find something else. Okay. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. I guess so. I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. Yeah. And wonder, how does that feel? Probably painful. It's so probably I painful. put my hands to the fire. Yeah. It hurts. But I tolerate it. And keep them there. Why? For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. I guess that the is The smell weird. of charred skin starts protruding from my own. Okay. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. Yeah, what'd you expect? You put your hand in a fucking bonfire or some shit. That horrible, but intoxicating feeling. I seek such extreme sensations. Yeah, you do. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Jesus fucking Other God. times, the fangs of a beast. Most times, however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. Ugh. And I would leave my hands there as I traverse along it. Why? Leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. Jesus. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. Okay. The fire and the blades are friends. Okay. They have granted me times of great fun. Alright. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. <sighs> but there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always... Painful. Yes, it, they were, and I guess you are right that leaving a goodbye gift is, or a thank, or a thank you gift is kind of important. I'd rather they weren't. Hey, yeah. Have you ever placed yourself in arms way, only to feel a satisfaction you've realized is not yours? Have you? No. These hands. Yeah. Are these? My hands. I'm gonna save. Uh, I'm gonna save. Uh, save this. Return. No. Is that so? Then, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. Uh, I'm gonna save this. They look deceitful. Ah, he's a fucking tentacle hentai monster, Jesus, with the eyes too! Maybe so. These hands of mine tend to squirm into places I could never imagine. Like a person's vagina. Be it tiny holes in the walls, housing arachnids of all sizes, or the pockets of midnight walkers, strolling the parks that sometimes serve me as home. Jesus. These fingers squirm in and drag out what they find. <laughs> so now I carry all sorts of trinkets with me. 
<laughs> Keys, peeping gadgets, notes with love poems in them, the corpse of one or two insects, eventually eaten away by those who come take their place. <laughs> I keep everything with me, regardless of their use. But sometimes, I feel bad. Yes, because stealing is bad, okay? Put because it back. maybe it was something important. Yes, it was. It the was a phone. The person I took them from could be distraught. Yes. Their happiness. Shattered. Yeah, because of your tent. Their lives. Ended. Okay, I don't know about that one. So I consider and consider maybe dropping them somewhere in the park. Yeah. But what if I need them? What if the keys can one day open the door I want? <laughs> what if the poems help me befriend a new partner? Jesus. What if the arachnids serve me as unlikely sustenance? <laughs> there are too many ifs. But I'm also too afraid to find out the truth. So I let them stay with me. Slowly becoming a part of me. <laughs> helping me grow. <laughs> I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. Oh, you were a tall motherfucker. Dude. These fingers won't stop. Yeah, they won't. Squirming and coiling around everything they feel. Oh. And I can only hope they merely take what they need. I would be saddened if my body grew too much because I wouldn't get to enter rooms like yours anymore. Yeah, I, I really hey, got bigger. Have you ever attempted to help yourself grow by mercilessly taking away from someone else? No. Have you? No. That's, that's, that's mean. These hands. Are these. My hands. Uh, I'm saving again. <laughs> I sleep. Boink. Look at the uh, broken fingers, tentacles, and uh, what's the last one? What's the last one? Hmm? Is that so? Then, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. Okay, they look tired. They look tired. <laughs> that may be it. so. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for something. They look like spiders. The tip of my finger stands over the surfaces that I travel, <laughs> and their sensations reach the core of my brain. Uh. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, <laughs> okay, or the roughness of a wall I am, made out of rubbish. I am very, very uncomfortable. Caressing. Grabbing, clawing, <laughs> no matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own. <laughs> Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Yeah, I can see that right there. <laughs> Don't they like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin is. Irresistible. <laughs> they want more. <laughs> they want to feel closer. Please to stop have it between them my and sheets. around them. More and more and more. Okay. Sometimes, however, they can't reach as far as they'd like. Oh. That's when I lend a hand. Okay. I take over and stretch. All right. Stretch. All right. Stretch. Stop. And they grow. Okay. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. That's disgusting. But they grow. Yes, they do. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside. Well, that's fucking pointless then, huh? Discarded. And forgotten. You dead. That's why they are tired. Yeah. Because they never stop seeking. Okay. And most likely, never will. I guess so. Hey. Have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> these hands. Are these... My hands? Eh, you know what? I kinda like those hands. Those hands are the coolest, so yes. A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Alright. Open. Your eyes. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go save real quick cause I this is my cause I might die. Yes.
No, there's nothing there. Okay, then I, I win. I win. I beat it. I beat it. <laughs> uh, I'm going back. Which which one was it? This one? Uh, no. So you won't look at me. No, I won't. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. That is not what my hands look like. Think about it. No. Maybe you and I are similar. I am far more beautiful and muscular than you are. No. I know we are. Yeah, I know you don't. I can feel it in my skin. Jesus. Ah. Oh. Ah. Can you hear it? Yes. It's a heartbeat. My skin is pulsating. Oh, is that your fucking heart? Okay, you're It weak. has been long since this happened. Okay. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Do you love me? I wander the world. Wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. Alright. But it's not like anyone will do. Okay then. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. <laughs> Since I could show myself to everyone at once. You see, I don't think that's a good idea because if you actually did that, you'd be shot down by a fucking bazooka. Every living person in this land and ask them all the same question, someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. Damn right. But, it might not be the answer I wish for. Okay. Since I don't want to be judged. Well, how the fuck- I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. Uh, it scares me. How do you know what you are, that Dad? That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide. Fading into the dark, but you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. <laughs> ah, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Uh. Feel... Something. Okay. I cannot describe it. I, I am I not can't good do. with words. What do you mean? You sound like a fucking dictionary. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. <laughs> to teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yep. Yet, they did. Uh, so uh, it's possible for me to teach Gordon how to talk. Simply because they could. Oh, I could, okay. It is weird to remember. Yeah. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. Right. And I am not. Sure. Okay. I don't care much for my appearance. Alright. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. I guess. So why is it? I don't know. Why do I want someone? To recognize me so much. Because you wanna be a YouTuber and you just wanna be noticed by everyone and die a hopeful death. Maybe it's only because I can. Yeah. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Exactly, I called it. I'm the best. But I will. Okay. Soon. Yeah. Once you open your eyes. I'm not going to. Stop pulsating. Ah. There it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. And you inspect every crevice of mine. <laughs> and you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours to let me hear what I am. And to maybe even give me a name. I'm gonna call you my friend. Oh, dog, dog, there's a dog. It makes me feel. Wait. But I don't know okay. what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. I guess. Hey, yeah. what does my expression look like? You look very promiscuous. When that veil of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? I would probably offer you a sandwich and ask you to leave. Answer me. Stare. An emotionless stare. <laughs> I hate that. That may be so. Expressions are.
difficult. Especially with barbed wire on your mouth. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I guess. I am not capable of that. I can see that. Everything about me is stiff. Yep. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel, it is something I noticed long ago. Oh, well, I know something else that's stiff. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. Yeah. They form connections. They experience thrills. You mean like girlfriend and boyfriend? I have none of those. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. You know what? Maybe we are not too far apart. Turning old. And perishing. Yeah, that's what happens. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. You can't die? Yeah, well that's terrifying then. My journey began long ago. How old are you? Longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born, and die, born, and die. <laughs> a person's existence is so fleeting, and yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's really hard to write a book. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather... Because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number. They are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps, if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning, they would treasure it. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, and what I am. Okay, I kind of blanked out there. I just listened to you. <laughs> I want for someone to tell me how I look. You look promiscuous. I told you, you're a hot being. Yet, I don't see that as important. No one but me would care. So why should I care? Because you are you. But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I feel things. Joy. Sorrow. Fear. Fear, you say? <gasps> ooga, ooga, ooga. Okay, you lied. I am always feeling. And right now. Ah, is it pulsating? I am feeling strongly. It's here. In my pulsating skin. You say my expression is. Emotionless. That it shows. Nothing. Give me a second. I think I hear something. I don't think, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there is a fucking karaoke going on the other side of the neighborhood. And if you say so, it must be true. Yeah. But soon you will see something, because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey. Yeah? Have you ever masked yourself with indifference, only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath? Okay, that's deep. Have you? No. <laughs> this expression is this. My expression. I'm saving again because I want to see the extra dialogue that I want to see. So I'm gonna check again. I'm gonna check again. No. Is that what does my expression look like when that fill of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. Uh, you have a cheerful, a cheerful smile. Smile. Oh, that may be so. I hate that. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. Okay. It has been so, so long. Alright. I can no longer remember where it all began. Probably from your mom's vagina. But who's to say it had a beginning? Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. That's Maybe good. the starting point is that faint memory. Yep. The earliest one I can recall. Yep. It was... Walking. You're walking? And for some reason, it was daytime. I rarely travel during the daytime. Only when the fear of being seen isn't there. Alright. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city. One full of people. Yep. I couldn't see them. But I knew they were there. Well, you must be a fucking ninja, huh? Hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt. 
Alright then. Completely motionless. Completely silent. Alrighty then. Living in wait of their deaths. Oh, okay. And what's more, none dare to look at me. Because you are probably hideously ugly. Did they even know I was there? No. Maybe. They did not care. Uh, I, I think if someone did see you in a boardwalk somewhere, I think they would definitely care about their, about their, you know, their lives. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me, living in fear of what others might think. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. Uh -huh, I guess so. You'd be, you, you'd make a... You'd make a great centerpiece on like a dining table somewhere. And one day I decided to go for a walk. I uh, don't think you walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. Yep. It's my earliest memory. And my most joyful one. Alright then. No experience afterwards had made me want to smile more than that. Okay. So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. Oh. But tonight... I'm not joyful. Why? Because I won't look at you? So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Hey, yeah. have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face, when in reality, you're feeling anything but? Mm, yes. I have you? Yes. This expression uh. is this. My expression. Uh, I'm saving again, because I want to see the next one. Save, uh, pick this one, and save. I'm gonna pick, I'm probably gonna pick the, the sad one. No, Is I wonder so? what's the next one. I like you better then, without a mouth, thank you very much. What does my expression look like when that fell off a answer? Okay. I want to see a surprise a surprised grimace. Grimace. Ugh, <laughs> that's the worst. That may be so. That's the fucking worst. Tonight is the first I hear about my eyes. Yeah. Or my hands. Alright. And the new and unexpected is always a source of surprise. People always act surprised when I show myself before them. Alright. So it makes sense that my appearance would surprise me as well. Jesus. At times, they stop moving, barely looking at me in awe. Okay. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. Others, they don't feel much at all. Yeah, like you, I guess. They sit and stay and attempt to talk. Yeah, like you. I don't like when they do that. Well, they, you, you probably hate you too. It's like they are not seeing me. Yeah. Not recognizing me. If I ever did see you, I would, I would definitely recognize you as a person that wants to eat my giblets. I much prefer when they freeze. I much prefer when they scream. A reaction is what I want. It's a sign that I am there. You know, I could just say, I could just say that, oh my god, look, it's, um, oh, what did I name you? Oh, I forgot what I named you, I'm sorry. And that my existence means something to them. That's why I like you. Aww. You did not scream. Yet you did not run either. Because you didn't give it a chance to! You were surprised and averted your eyes. But instead, you stayed. Yeah. Listening. Acknowledging. Yeah. You are the first to do this for me. I'm just, I'm just doing my best, bro. You are new and unexpected. Yeah, I am. Yet, how odd. Is this really surprise? Yes, it is. No. You say it is. So it must be true. <laughs> what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, what? it's not the same as those who've seen me. Well, maybe because you should realize that people are all unique in their own special ways and I'm different from anyone else, meaning I'm better than anyone. As if their surprise was something different from mine. No. Hey. Yeah? Have you ever acted surprised? Not because you are. But because you believe that's how you must feel. Have you? I didn't get that one. This expression is this. My expression. You know, that's great. I'm gonna pick this one. Yeah! I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. You're welcome. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. Yeah. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. 
Well, you're welcome, Dad. I feel a connection with you. Please do not fuck me. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. I'm gonna sleep again because I need to. Save. Return! Yes! I'm gonna get jump scared. I'm gonna die. I'm not. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm dead. Am I dead? Am I dead? No. There's nothing there. Okay, then. I like how I just go to sleep after, you know, after all that. I'm gonna load. <laughs> no! No! I see. I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. You could just get a t-shirt from my closet over there. I don't mind. No. Yeah? That is a lie. What's a lie? Ever since I stepped into this room. What? You have refused to engage with me. I have been talking to you for like 20 minutes straight. What do you mean? Not even once. Oh, fuck not off. Not even once. Not even once. Not even once. Hey, not shut even the fuck once, up. Not shut even the fuck once. up. Shut the fuck up. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Yeah, but I was communicating with you and I think that's more than enough than opening my eyes. Not even once. Because I already pictured it for you. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. I wasn't. I was talking to you. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. I didn't want to move an inch because you're going to slip my throat in half. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. Uh, you haven't opened your mouth. Yes, I did. I was talking to but you. you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. Oh, you've been talking to me telepathically. And I can't see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's kinda cool. That's why I know uh -huh. that I wasn't wrong. Okay. You are like me. I guess we are. We are the same. I agree. You too. Look for what's not there. Because you're not! I opened my eyes like six times. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. You, you might hurt me. And you too. Yeah. Are a liar. I am a liar. The type that shows one thing and feels another. I have never. But you made a mistake. What mistake? I know you're lying. I'm not. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. Why? I am not what you said I am. Well, why did you fucking ask me that if you knew the answer to what you fucking look like? These eyes, these hands, this expression. Oh. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours, uh, but I do not care. Uh, not anymore. Okay. Open your eyes. Uh, I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember that in this room, you know how everything looks. Oh, you heard that? It was those words that brought me here. <laughs> so you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. <laughs> Open your eyes. I don't like this. I'm gonna die. Open your eyes. Do I open my eyes? Oh. Uh, let's save, let's save, let's save, let's save over here, <laughs> return, uh, yes. You had your chance. It's not up to what? you. What? Anymore. I chose yes. You won't open your eyes. I was going to. I will. Uh. Ah! Something coils around my head. The pressure on my skull is unbearable. Ah! I hear something shatter. Ah. Uh. Your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. I'm blind. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? I see darkness. But they grab onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... Ah! Okay. 
I close my eyes. That won't do. Oh. Open your eyes. Ah. Ah. Open them. Ah. Oh shit. Open them now. Ow. Ah. What the fuck? Open. 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 Ah. Open. 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 Am I dead? Open. 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 Oh no. It seems. I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? Yes, I can. You can't talk anymore, right? No, I can. You can't think anymore. Right? Because I'm dead. Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I don't want the finger. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. There's something in my hand. It's what they what they left behind. What is it? Feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. <gasps> Okay, that was horrifying. God damn it, I've been recording for almost an hour. <laughs> okay then, I'm gonna... You know what, this was supposed to be three scary games, but I'm all about out of time. I, was, I had one more game, but I think that one's a lot longer, so maybe I'll just do that next video. So that will have to do for this video, I guess. So, this game was actually really, really engaging. I really liked it. It was so creepy. It was so tense. I loved it. And, uh, yeah, you know, the voice acting is incredible. It's like, it's like from straight out of Paranormica or some shit. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Passophobia. There, it's, it's straight out of Passophobia. Like the instructions person. So, yeah, that was a really good game. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys did, please leave a blue thumbs up. That will be greatly appreciated. And also, if you guys did want to see more horror games of me, and then make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and have fun. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye!